What is going on, everybody? I got my... I know it's a minion, but I'm going... I'm representing the bee. I got my bee binoculars on. And I got my dude in the back. He's going to hang out with me tonight here. Doing a... Uh, talking bee... We're going to give you the bee's nest. We're talking bee's nest tonight. Um, <laughs> you guys, I drew a little bee this morning. Hope you guys loved the beautiful day that we had here. We got uh, the bee binoculars on. We got uh, the bee behind here, and we're going to talk some bees-ness. So, talking bees-ness, we, uh, we sold the 299 Trailblazer already. I mean, it's already, boom, just like that. That's It just happens. It's already gone. It's already sold for the month of January. It is gone. Well, look at this guy. What do you guys, do you guys like him? LMAO. I I, I concur. I, I agree. L -I -L LMAO. It's a lot of it's a lot of words there. Oh man, this is my kids too, so it's super tight. Hopefully, I don't break it. Let's see here. <clears throat> so yeah, we had a uh, another great day at the lot. Uh, quite a few people showed up. We did not get a picture of the people that bought the cars. Oh my goodness, I don't know why we didn't get a picture, but we did not get a picture. We've been trying to do that, and we've taken two of wait one two three. Four. We've taken four of I think ten that we've sold so far this year. So it's we're we're not doing well in in the photo thing. Um, we're not we're not doing very well with that. But that's all right. Wow, what? Wow, what, Teresa? The, the, this or this? shit what the hell am i doing um <laughs> can't even right now now i'm getting red i don't usually get red so that was actually that, that actually made me laugh there i'm not gonna lie you guys oh what's up everybody you me me and you you no it's a b like a b i can it's, it's not a u it's a b like like it's backwards right so you guys can see it b they almost tried to sting me doing that. It's not a you. I, I, you, you, B. Did a sting around the top of your head? I wish I did. I look, I got one now. <laughs> not a you, a B. And this one is a B like this. I didn't know I was teaching class tonight, but. I'm there for you guys. If anybody needs be you for bees ness tonight. Um, I don't know what what does BU actually stand for? I feel like it sends or something. Big umbrella, I guess. Let's see here. See even the bee wants to fly away. Whoa! That's that's insultful. That hurts. That hurts hurts me in my stinger. Let's see here. Ugh. <laughs> But no, I had a uh, I had a, a beautiful day. I had an awesome day today, guys. Um, worked a lot still at, at the old job, um, but I actually had a great day, and I actually had a lot of fun drawing uh, the little B character this morning when I woke up. Sent it off to you guys. Uh, hopefully, you guys had a good morning with it. Started your day off good uh, with a little beautiful uh, little guy there, and then uh, I brought him back just because uh, I don't know. I felt like it. That was, that was really all there was. Uh, tomorrow, Saturday. Anybody got big plans for the weekend? Do you spend extra time with Daniel? I could take that so many different ways. I'm I'm curious. As, what, what do you mean by that, Becky? Which way? Which way are you talking now? Now I'm curious. I'm not sure if you're calling. I don't know what you're calling me now. I, I have many things I could say right now. I don't know which direction we're trying to go. You think this would go this would go many ways. It could go this way. <laughs> Jesus. I can't stop jerking off his little stinger. Oh, his little dude. <laughs> 
Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I just can't stop doing it now. Unbelievable, Jesse. Oh, what am I doing? This, 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 this went downhill really fast. Like, I, I mean, this, this probably started it and then the bee didn't help. And now here I am. This is a video of just a dude playing with a bee stinger. Um, this not even sudden unrelated to anything we should be talking about. Um, speaking of which, anybody want to talk about anything, let me know, ask any questions any type of material you guys are interested in, anything you want to know about cars, any car dealers, remind me of the one of your best tales ever. Yes. Oh my God. You guys want to know something fun to do? All right. So when I was a kid, uh, and or maybe when I was an adult as well, um, the jury's still out on that. What you can do is you can go get some, some devices, the stuff he likes to, me it's the stuff he likes to mellow him out. <laughs> I don't do any of that. I'm already crazy as it is. Um, but not saying I have never done it. I'm just saying that I don't do it. Um, but if you want to have a lot of fun, all right, so you go to Walmart or anywhere with people, really. Usually Walmart because they got a lot of stickers, okay? You go to Walmart and they got stickers. This is the game. You've got to put something on somebody's ass, okay? This is how it works, all right? You, you find a sticker and you have to use strictly the store supplies, okay? And what you've got to do is you've got to, you've got to first find something. Obviously, it's going to tape onto the person. You take one of the Walmart stickers off of something or whatever like that. They've got plenty of stickers. Don't worry, you're not gonna hurt their feelings. Now, then you get something that looks like a tail, anything, right? Uh, pro tip, if you take like a piece of paper and uh, it's, it's a thinner piece of paper or something like that, you wind it in your uh, finger really tight, you'll make a little pigtail. Then take sticker, tail, those two together. Now they're stuck. Now the game is with your boys or your girls or your co, whatever the hell you go to Walmart with, people's, you have to get it to stick on somebody's ass like a tail without them knowing, without them knowing. I'm not going to brag and say that I'm the best, but I am really, really, really good. I got a shark fin on the back of somebody's back, like a shark fin. It was like, it, I mean, I, you can't tell with the picture, but I mean, where I'm at, but I mean, this thing was like over a foot tall. It was a big old ass shark fin. I got out of styrofoam. I actually brought the styrofoam into the, into Walmart. I didn't take it from them. Uh, I just happened to have blue styrofoam and uh, said, shit, this would be an awesome tail. I also brought my own stickers uh, because Walmart stickers were not going to hold this thing up. And I put it on somebody's back. Now, now that's, it's, it's tricky. This is, this is the shirt. Okay. This is a person's shirt. Okay. Or buttocks. You don't really want to touch the, their, their physical body. That'll give it away. Pro tip also. Right. So this is their shirt. It's just walking around. Blah, 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 here I am shopping at Walmart. I'm going to give you some cosmetics or whatever it is they're doing. Right. Uh, probably, I usually put it on guys. I don't really feel comfortable putting it on girls. Plus, girls' shirts are too tight, right? Not all of them are too tight. And I, trust me, I like girls in tight shirts. What I'm saying, though, is you want to put it on there so you don't, they don't feel the skin. Feel the skin, now you're all of a sudden, you're on the news because you're sexually harassing a lady with a shark fin. You don't want that. You don't want to be on the news. Maybe I do, but you don't want to be on the news, right? So here's the shirt, right? Said shirt, come up there. You got your little, let's pretend this is, uh, this is your little pigtail, right? This is your sticker. This is your little pigtail shirt bam you go up there and you just you just you just walk right by them like 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 you own like 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 you're, you belong like you're also looking for cosmetics or toiletries oh uh, you walk right up book bam right there on it and you walk away and then you go back around the other aisle you peek your head around the corner and you die laughing because they will walk around the store with a tail like this and you just follow them because you will not be able to stop laughing what am i on Bro, I'm on, I'm on you, I'm on Facebook Live. Do you, are you, where are you seeing me? What are you talking, what am I on? Becky. All right, so Becky, this, you got this device in your hand. It's called a phone. I feel as though you got an alert, probably because you were one of those cool people that pushed the alert button whenever I go live. Then what happened is you were alerted that I was live. And then you came, pushed that phone button, device, rectangle device in your hand, right screen. You push that, bam, took you right here. You're now on Facebook live. That's where, that's where I am. This is where you're viewing me from. Um, precise location, corner of my living room, but also on Facebook live. Bam. So now walk around here. So now you've got to get creative. Okay. It's it, once you get good at this, once you get good at a piece of paper sort of thing with a sticker, you're going to get creative. Where did I go with that? I went too long, long was the new creativity. Now I'm putting monkey tails on people, right? I mean, what would be perceived as a monkey tail because it's like, I don't know, like three feet long. Now you got to watch them walk around the store with a three feet long tail and it is hysterical. I mean, the most fun you'll have. I mean, you could be at Walmart till two in the morning doing this stuff.
Tell them the guy had a horizontal black and yellow striped t-shirt and wham, asked for it. Exactly. So, took the styrofoam, the blue styrofoam, I put stickers along the side of it, walked right up holding the styrofoam, bam, put it right on the person's back. I mean, loose shirt, stuck right on his back, now the dude's got a shark fin on his back. This is, this is a hell of a lot of fun. If you're in Walmart and you, if you've got nothing to do for some hours and you've got friends, even if you don't have friends, this is still a lot of fun because I laugh at my own self all the time. So if you don't got, I mean, you could film it and show your friends. This is hysterical stuff. You'll be putting tails on people all over the place. Trust me, and then you'll do it with your friends. It, it won't stop. It'll just be, it'll be endless, endless tailing of people, right? So boom, you put the shark, I put the shark fin on there. Awesome style. I, I, I just had to get creative. I just, I, I couldn't just handle just the pigtails. It just, hey, what's going on, Scott, man? How you doing, buddy? Uh, thanks for your help today, man. It's a lot. We appreciate it, bud. Um, so, so then Walmart tag, exactly. Then, then I got even more creative, right? This guy actually happens to move in down the street from me now, and he knows it was me because I did it at work to him, and he's kind of a dick now. Uh, but he lives like five houses down from me, and I think he calls code enforcement on me all the time actually now because I tailed him with this bee stinger. It's been like seven years. He still calls on me, but it's totally worth it. This is what I did. Big dude, big like Mike from the car lot. Huge, right? I went and got a Dixie cup from our water fountain, right? And let's just say I had some spare time at work, okay? I took it and I made stripes, okay? With a black marker. Then, in between the stripes, I had a yellow highlighter. I yellow highlighted it, okay? Now, picture this. This is now Dixie Cup, okay? Dixie Cup, right? Dixie Cup, this is what I did. Then I took here, I cut the bottom of it off, all right? Cut the bottom of it off. And I actually put a, I, I twisted up the paper, twisted, pushed it down to the bottom. So this was actually a black stinger. Okay. Now, I, if I'm not, I'm anybody that knows me, I don't do anything half ass. So I'm going to do a good job, even when I'm pranking somebody, right? Bee stinger. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Okay. I took stickers and we had, we had label stickers or whatever that I could get. These are heavy duty stickers. What I did was I did not want the bee stinger to be on there with these weird label. I didn't want to get rid of the idea of putting him into a bee stinger. Okay. This is, this is the art. Okay. This is where the art comes in. Right. So then in here, I lined this thing with stickers inside. Right. So I put stickers like here and going across here. All right. I put them all in there to where that was all this whole surface area here was all sticker. Right. All that was sticker. And I cut, I made sure it was still just a perfect circle. Okay. So you could not see stickers in there. And I found him. It, it, it just happened to be he was wearing a yellow shirt, this color. I mean, I couldn't have asked for a more perfect day. All right, so I go up to this dude. We're walking at work. Boom. Nailed him. Super easy. I mean, I was so fucking good. I mean, I could have been grabbing his butt and he wouldn't have felt it because that's how, that's how good and smooth this was. I mean, it was perfect motion. Bam, right on his ass. Got him right there. He walked around with that thing for like two hours on. I mean, because we, we didn't work a place where we sat down. He's walking around with his little bee stinger on, okay? Now, everybody knows that I'm the one doing these things. I denied it wholeheartedly, no matter when anybody, you know, came and asked me, hey, did you do this one? No matter how great of a one that it was, I always denied it because I didn't want to get fired, right? I didn't want to get fired for goofing off. I mean, they're paying me to do a job, not put bee stingers on people. That doesn't really matter. I did that shit anyways, right? But I was good at my job, so I got it done faster. I had, a, I had some free time. Anyways. Put the bee stinger on this guy. He walks around. I will tell you people photographed him. I will tell you people made fun of him. People, he got a nickname of the bee guy. That's how bad it, that's how good it was and how bad and humiliating it was for him. So that's why I don't mind him calling code enforcement on me now that he's my neighbor because he hates me. And it's his way of, you know, trying to get back at me because he knows I got him. That is how you tell people. Now, that's just my little thing. I did that the, the that one there. I've done some that were, I, I actually did one on a guy. I have it at a table. I worked in shipping and receiver. It's, I, fucking, I don't, I'm never gonna go back there anyways. I worked at Sea Ray Yachts up in Cape Canaveral. This is where I was doing all this shit, all right? I worked at Sea Ray Yachts in Cape Canaveral, all right? And I used to do shipping and receiving. So I had a lot of stickers, a lot of free material to put on that was in just packages that we were just throwing in the dumpster anyways, right? So we had the this table 
that would sit there by the computer where, where guys from the warehouse and everything like that would go up to the table and everything. So I would take stickers. So you stuck it to the man. Exactly. Sticking it to the man every single day. Am I right? Everybody else should be sticking it to the man too. Stick it to the man. I guess I don't have anything to go after that. I was thinking of something clever in my head, but it didn't work. But stick it to the man works well. Anyways, so what I did, this is one. Okay, I, put, I took a piece of cardboard and I cut it. It was a huge box. Cut this damn piece of cardboard out. This thing had to be six or seven foot long. Now it was like this thin, right? It was, it was barely thin. I had stickers all over the front of it. I had to put a sticker in the middle because it had needed some sort of support. I sat it on the table. This guy's on the computer looking for a part or some shit, right? I slide it across the table because it's too long for me to just put it on him. And now he needed it on him, but I couldn't put it on him where the weight was going to sit. Jamie still hates you. Exactly. Jamie still hates That's the guy's name lives down the street. Of course he still hates me. He's why he calls code enforcement on me. That's okay. I don't care. I know the code enforcement lady now. Now we're, well, I wouldn't say we're friends. No, we just, we're email buddies. <laughs> we're email buddies, but she's like, hey, you got another complaint. You need to fix this shit. I'm like, damn it. All right. Anyways, so I stick this long five to six foot piece of cardboard tail and I stick it right to the guy's shirt. Nice stickers all, stickers galore on this thing because I needed support, man. This thing was heavy. Uh, well, not really heavy, but it was just long. You needed, I mean, you need support because the stickers will fall off. So I sat it on the table and what happened was I, it allowed it time to, <sighs> Andrew Brisker, I still love you though. I don't know what you said before then, but I love you too, bro. That's awesome. That's actually a kick-ass comment. I don't know what you said prior to that, but it still kicks. Ashley, I'm gonna do this for you just for a second, just 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 to see how it feels. God, man, damn it, this way. Oh, there we go. Uh, uh, please, oh no, oh no, oh no. Damn it, what the? <laughs> anyways, all right. So, anyways, enough of jerking off the bee. Um, so anyway, I put this thing on this guy. All right, this is what happened. This is the most, this is the most, I laughed so hard on this one. He, he comes in, he comes, what? He leaves, leaves the computer. He goes and gets on the forklift to run out to the drum building, okay? Gets on the forklift, okay? Sits out with this six foot tail, cardboard tail on him. Now, like I said, it's very thick, all right? Sits down, gets in the forklift, sits down. The tail goes, boing, right up here. What does he do? He backs up like this. He doesn't even see it. He takes off with his tail, just like this floating in the wind. So, I honestly, I, I'm terrible with names, so I don't remember his name, to be completely honest with you. Um, but he came back. Um, good dude. He was a real good dude. He, he knew I was the one doing it and everything. He goes, man, he goes, I didn't even know that shit was on me. He goes, did it until I went to go, <laughs> I went to the drum building, I closed the door. He goes, and I walked and I felt this jerk on back of my shirt when it ripped off inside the door. That's how long this thing was. So that's a lot of fun you guys can have. Um, you guys can, uh, you guys can put that stuff. If you're bored, put tails on people, man. It is the most fun. You'll get so much entertainment. You'll start being, you use that creative side of your brain, whichever side it is to come up with new ways to do it. You'll keep pushing the boundaries, the limits. If you guys want take pictures of that shit, put it in the comments. I would love to see you guys tailing people all over the place. That would be awesome. I actually might do it. I might do a tail. If I'm at a, a next, okay. Next time I'm at a store, I will show y'all how to do it. I'll have my wife record it. If she can hold the phone still enough and not laugh, she's sitting over here right now just laughing at me jerking off the B. All right. So if anything, I'll have her record it. I'll show y'all the art that takes to tail somebody. And when you see it done and you see the funny, you guys are going to love it. I'm telling you right now, you guys won't be able to stop doing it. It'll be like fidget spinners. I mean, you guys will just be like, oh God, I made, I made seven tails today. Now I got to find eight people to put them on. And, and, and I'm telling you right now, man, I mean, it, you will push the boundaries, the boundaries of, of going up to somebody and just, poof. I did get almost into a fight with some guy one time. So I will preface it that, you know, if you're, you're going to do it to somebody, either be, and they catch you, uh, be prepared. You know, you may have to fight the people. Um, Jimmy would walk into the warehouse and leave with a tail and complain to me, dad, shh. I still work here. Mike was your neighbor. How about the jump out of the box one of the devil tail on safety man? Oh man, dude, I did. I had so much fun. I, I, I don't even remember anything I did at the actual job other than goof off. Uh, my dad got me the job there. So, um, you know, I worked, I did, I didn't want to give him a bad name. I did actually do a good job. I busted ass there. 
but I play hard and I work hard and I prank harder. Um, and so if, if you're around, I would love, I, I prank. So I, pr I love to prank people and cause I'm not afraid of, of somebody getting mad at me. Um, because it's, it's sometimes the wrong is worth the funny. All right. And so all you have to do is play dumb. It's like, Oh, dude, I thought you were, I thought you were somebody else, man. My bad. I'll put this on somebody else's ass. <laughs> I'd be surprised how often that works, but it also means that you don't get, I don't get caught very much when I do stuff. So so anyways, I will next time I'm in a store, Target or Wally World or any of these places, uh, and I am prepared to uh, give you guys a show. I'll have my wife record me throwing something on somebody's back, making a tail for them. Once you guys see it in action, when you guys see me do it, and I might even make her go live with it. I mean, that, that will be the legit, because then there's no video editing. Not that I know how to do that anyways, but then you guys know it's legit. Dude, live, Target. Walmart tailing some dude. I'm telling you guys, it'll be the new thing that y'all do. You don't even, y'all you won't do anything else. Play on your phones, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, none of that will matter. It'll tail life. Tail will, will be your life. That I'm telling you. And it'll last for a while because it's, there's no shortage of fun you can have with tailing people and watching them walk around with a piece of sticker, with a sticker and a piece of paper on their butt. The funniest part, <laughs> okay, the best part about it is, when somebody else <laughs> lets them know it's on there. <laughs> I guess when somebody else goes, hey, what do you want on your back? Like, it's like, <laughs> it's like they, like, like part of me thinks in their mind, what if that person was like just doing it to do it and be like, <laughs> be like, bro, no, I walk around with tails on my back. What do you, what do you mean? What are you trying to do? You discriminating, man, you know, or something like that. But people would tell, hey, you you got something on your ass, like basically, and these people would fucking rip these stickers off their butts for them. I mean, the more people involved, it is so much, it is such a good time, guys. So next time I get an opportunity, next time I'm in, uh, I'm out shopping, which I don't do very often because of Amazon. <laughs> uh, next time I have an opportunity, I will tell somebody live on here um, for your viewing pleasure. Um, and if it, it might even end even better where the person tries to fight me, then it's a double. You guys got to see somebody get tailed and me probably beat the shit out of somebody. Or maybe they take me. Well, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. You never know. I work in a smaller car. Uh, I work in a small car lot up in Coca in Ohio. I can only imagine doing this. Bro, Andrew, dude, is the most fun. I mean, yeah, dude. No, bro. Do it, the, do it at work. Do it at the car lots. Do it. Do it fucking everywhere, man. Everywhere. You're... You, your only limitation is here in the creativity, man. You you should do it. Everybody should do it. It is such harmless fun until, you know, you the guy moves in five doors down from you and starts calling code enforcement on you because your grass is growing up next too close to your privacy fence and code enforcement says, well, I've got to cut that. It's like, dude, yeah, I would love to. I'd actually love to kill it all. But you know what? It's not the way it works. Then I, no, you, you need to have at least four trees in your yard. Da, 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 da. Take your shutters down. It's past December. No. <laughs> no, that was my bad. It keeps the house cooler. Uh, but, but I don't know. Sometimes I just do stuff to mess with people anyways. Like if I'm messing with the code enforcement lady or if I'm messing with other people, um, I can't mess with my wife. I'll tell you that. I do not mess with my wife uh, because she can't take a joke. Um, she can, she can deliver. She can deliver poorly uh, pranks and jokes and stuff but if you try to do it she's not a good she's not good at um um getting them done to her because uh, she gets upset about it which adds to the humor so you got to time them perfectly you got to do them well little spider tricks little bug tricks things like that you got to do things like that little harmless jokes gestures fun i tried to do big pranks when i was when we first started dating didn't go over well didn't go over well but you guys can all do this to anybody, so unsuspecting. Put your pranks on here. Put. I, I think you guys can actually post on the page. I don't know if you can or not, but go ahead and give it a shot. I couldn't give a crap. Uh, go ahead and post on there. I would love for you guys to post stuff, especially if it's funny stuff of you guys tailing people. That is awesome. That is awesome. I believe there's a place for you guys to post or something like that. Or If you can't post, put it in the comments because it is... It is more fun than you could even imagine, guys. And I will show you. I will show you live. That I promise you I will find shit i might do it tomorrow i might do it sunday but i'm going to do it at some point in the future i'm going to tell somebody live on here i'll show y'all how to do it and you guys it'll be your new favorite thing to do because if you're like me i don't know actually many people like me i'm kind of weird but if you're like me in the fact that you don't like to shop but your significant other or you know you just have to shop 
you know, maybe you're, you're, you're solo and you've got to go in and you don't use Amazon. Um, you got to go grocery shopping, like Publix. I mean, that's basically the only place I go to, I think, now. Publix, maybe occasionally you go to Target to pick something up, but usually it's in that little drop spot outside. Um, I hate shopping, but I'll go inside for you guys, and I'll do it for y'all. But if you're like me, and you hate to shop, and you hate doing stuff, oh my god, I just had an idea. I can do it in Publix. I can get the little Publix stickers. Okay, hey, and next time you guys are in Publix, heads up, idea. You get the little circle Publix stickers, they get right over by the balloons. Grab some balloon string. They've got plenty. It's okay. You're not going to hurt the bottom line. Okay, grab some, grab some of the balloon string they tie the balloons up with. Take a little bit off. Now you got to, oh, dude, you got the, like, the longest little pigtail. It's going to be super light. Nobody's going to feel it. Attach at ease, sticker, and string. Now walk around with said sticker in fingers. Walk by. I was doing it. I was on a, uh, a cruise ship one time. And this was in my heyday, my, my, my tail and heydays. I mean, I was just tailing everything. I brought supplies on the cruise ship to tail people in their bathing suits. That's how legit I was. I, I, I had to, I mean, I just had to next level it every time, right? You just, once you get to a point, you just gotta, I, I need the next level. It's almost like the next, like, I guess what I imagine the next high is for people. I don't do any of that shit. My high is like laughing my ass off and having a lot of fun. So that's my high. So I gotta get even, I gotta, I gotta do it even more, right? Dude, I was walking by. This is like literally, dude walking towards me in the hallway of the uh, thing. I had the tail right here on the side, right here, right here, tucked right here, you know, right here while I'm walking, just casually, you know, just casually walking, you know, making it look like both arms are swinging when really it's just one. Guy walks right by me in a suit to go to the formal dinner. Wham, bam, just as he walks by. Fucking bam, just like that. Right on the back of his shirt, right on the back of his, his suit jacket. Walks all the way down the hallway. I mean, I never saw him again. We were on a cruise ship and he had a different dinner than us because I wasn't headed to dinner. I was headed to go somewhere else. Our dinner was later. But <clears throat> needless to say, this dude walked in to eat dinner. And I can only imagine in my mind, the creativity in my mind just starts going. I start imagining this guy going to sit down to dinner in a formal night. And he's got this, this, this pigtail on the back of his thing. But the pigtail is always my favorite. If the Seahawks win, you have to wear one of those their beanies all day and do a video with it on. I will wear it one. I will, Becky. I will do that, but I ain't buying the damn beanie. So you got to give me one of your beanies, or you got. I, I will wear Seahawk apparel for you, but you've got to give me the Seahawk apparel. I will give it back, but I you have to give it to me, and then I will wear it in a live video, and I'll give it back to you, um, because the Packers are gonna win, so I'm not even having to worry about that. That's not even. It's not even. I'm not even concerned. I mean, unless y'all, you know, unless you do all that bull crap like last time we played in the playoffs. It's bull crap. It was bull crap. We all know it. Anyways, so next time I will go live. Tim Forte, hey, I'm open soon. I will be bidding you up at the auction. What the hell, man? That's not even, why would you do that to me? I didn't do anything to you. <laughs> no, dude, Tim, hey, man. Yeah, come and introduce yourself to me, bro. That's awesome. No, I was, more the merrier, man. Where, where are you opening up at? There's a lot of people in here that uh, that buy cars. So where are you opening uh, up your car lot, bud? Devil tail wrapped in red velvet with a triangle end during inspection. She did the whole plant, then hung it in her office as a trophy. I don't know if that's really Debbie texting or if it's somebody else. It was three feet long. I'm so confused. Oh, Tim, for fun? You're opening a car lot for fun? I, I'm confused with what's going on. You're opening a car lot for fun or are you just going to do live videos for fun? Both are fun. I'll be honest with you. Actually, the live videos are way more fun than the car lot. I, if I'm being completely honest with you, car lot's kind of a pain in the ass. But... Huh? Yeah. 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 So, I mean, it, it, Carlotte's kind of, I mean, but, but doing live videos is a lot of fun. You meet a lot of cool people like Becky, who is a terrible fan of a terrible football team that's going to get destroyed by the Packers this weekend. But you do meet other people, which are really cool too. Oh, Fort Pierce. Oh, cool, man. Yeah. Um, oh man, that's actually a really cool area down there. So you should, hopefully you do really well, man. I bet, uh, I bet you actually do do really good, actually, to be honest with you. Bid you, bid you up for fun. <laughs> Bro, you can't bid me up. There's no way. Because if you, I will bid you up and then I will just leave. I have a set price when I'm at the, I don't know shit about cars. Fun fact, I don't know anything about cars. I really don't. I know that I drive my Toyota. My wife is laughing because she knows I'm. You need to get the warehouse today open. Okay, yeah. shut the hell. Okay. All right, now she done said it. You guys probably heard my camera and I'm not going to let her just go by with just saying shit behind my back. All right, when we first, you know, got the car lot and opened it up and everything like that, we were in a warehouse over off of um, Ellis Road um, in West Melbourne. My lack of knowledge on anything not financial with the business 
was so much so that somebody came and it was my day to watch the car lot. Somebody came to get a car to test drive one and I didn't know how to open the warehouse door. I, had, I mean, no, not the front, not the door like where you walk in. I mean, I don't know how to use a key and open the door, but the actual bay doors to where we had the cars all, I, I didn't know how to do it. I had no idea. I had to call Mike. Like, Mike, dude, how do you do this? He's like, oh, how do you not know how to do this? It's because, dude, I don't do this. I do the, the paperwork. I do all that kind of stuff. I don't do, I don't do bay doors. I don't do cars. I never, really, I never got into them. I never really my thing, but it, I have a lot of fun doing this. So I like to do this part of it. Uh, paperwork stuff is, is its own little monster and stuff like that. But I enjoy, you know, I enjoy parts of that. I enjoy looking at the numbers. I enjoy doing all that. I enjoy talking with customers and doing that. So I don't really need to know anything about cars in order to, you know, be at the car lot. If I'm not really dealing with them very much, I don't deal with cars that, that much at all. So if you're going to bid me up, Tom, Tim, sorry, sorry. I saw the foot. Um, if you're going to bid me up, that's fine because Mike checks out all the cars. All right, Mike's got the mechanical side of things up here, man. He's really, really good with that stuff. So he tells me, Jesse, this is what we're bidding on. You got this lane, and here you go. And he tells me a price. Do not go over this price. Boom, 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 boom. Mike knows all about cars. He knows all about the pricing. He knows all about that stuff. All right, that's all Mike. He's a, he's a wizard. He's super, super smart with all that stuff. So Tim, you can try to bid me up. And I have people come up to me at the auction and be like, dude, man, why'd you... Why'd you stop at, you know, X dollar amount? And I'm like, because that was the last thing I had. He's like, well, you're bidding me up, man. I'm like, dude, I'm going to my number. I don't know shit other than my number. My number and the number of the, the lane. I don't know anything else about the cars because I don't, I don't need to. So there's a guy for that. His name is Mike. He knows all that. I just listen to Mike. Just enjoy the sound of, you just enjoy the sound of your own voice. Well, you're my mom, so you would know that I have enjoyed the sound of my own voice for a, three decades at least. Actually, probably three decades because I'd been two by then. I don't know. Maybe when I started talking when I was nine months old. I don't know how I couldn't have. I mean, I love to talk. I love people. I love myself. I mean, there's a lot of things. Okay, seriously. I just got my license on the back of the title on the top right. Do you put the amount of tax you collected or how much sales price is or was? All right. So on the back of a Florida title, um, you actually put... <laughs> my, my wife will give me one really quick. Hang on. Hang on. Hold, Tim. We will educate folks tonight. This was turned into from jerking off little bees. He's going for round two, by the way, because you see he's already splattered. You, your dad, and your brother. Yes, one of my brothers. My other brother, he's not a talker. He's not a talker. He's the biggest one. He's the tallest for sure, but he's not a talker. I mean, each teach their own, right? All right, so my wife has some titles here, right? These are titles for the cars that we purchased. I will show you guys how to fill this stuff, these suckers out. So if any of you guys decide flipping cars or anything like that, legitimate Florida titles because we sell cars with titles. <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, car dealers have titles. <clears throat> so this is what a Florida title looks like. So this is the Florida title, buddy. So um, all right, so this is the back of it. I'll show it. I'll get a little closer. Hopefully you can see it and it's not reversing it on you. All right, so this will be the back of the Florida title, right? And so what you're going to do is you're going to put your dealer's license number here, Okay. This right here is going to be your dealer's license name, okay? This is your tax number. So your, this is your sales tax number. And this is your tax collected. So if you sold a car for, let's say, $2,000, this is where you're going to put like a, in Florida, where I'm in, Brevard, it's 7%. So you're going to put um, $140 there, 2,000 times 7%, right? Then right here, you're going to put the selling dealer's address. So this will be your address, Okay, I'm, I'm hoping you can see that, man. And you can always, hey, you can always message me on the uh, on Facebook too or whatever like that, bud. I'll help you out if you have any questions. So just shoot me a message, and um, and I'll I'll let I'll, I'll let you know if you have any questions. Um, you can private message me or whatever like that. You can even send me a photo of your title, um, and I'll, I'll tell you what to fill out where. But <clears throat> so your seller dealer address. Uh, this is the date that it was sold. So you want to put the date that you sold the car there, um, and you want to make sure all of this matches up on your eight two zero four zero form. Right, so that's and they call it your Schedule 40 form. So you want to make sure all of that matches up because my God, if you spell somebody's name different on the back of this as then it was typed out on that 40 form, the DMV does not give a rip that you forgot the O. They will make you take it back and do it over. It's it's really that dumb. Perfect. All right, I won't now. Okay, now I won't bid against dude. Bid against me, man. I don't care if you want to overpay for cars. Bid against me. I, it's not a problem with me. I don't have a problem with you overbidding on cars at all. If anything, it, you run out of money faster. 
So anyway, <laughs> so anyways, here we go. So, all right. So then you've got the day that it was sold. You've got the purchaser's name it goes right here. Um, hopefully you guys can see that. There we go. I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit on it. Uh, purchaser's name. So this is the person, the, the name of the person. And then this is their address, right? All right. Um, I never check these boxes here. Um, but you can do the, uh, the odometer. <clears throat> Most of the cars we sell are exempt. Actually, almost every single one of them are going to be exempt. So you'll put exempt there. Um, and I believe that's because they're over 10 years old. Um, I can't, I think that's the rule or whatever like that. I just know all of ours are already come exempt for the most part. Um, <clears throat> and then this is also the date that you read the odometer. Um, so this is the date that you read the odometer, but the odometer is exempt. So you didn't really read the odometer because it doesn't matter. It's exempted from actually having to put the mileage on there, right? So because of the car's age, um, this is thing is starting to actually itch me now. Shit, sorry guys. Um, so what you would actually, what we typically do is we'll put the same date as the same date up here. This is, you know, it's just the, it's just the date, right? So we make those two dates match the date we sold the car and the date we read the odometer. Um, <clears throat> Now, um, this part down here, you don't have to worry about that, especially if they're exempt. Um, I'm not sure what you know the value of your cars are, um, and I'm not sure what you're doing um, in terms of other things um, with, um, with if your cars are exempt or not and, and all that, but just be wary of that. We use this and we do exempt there because our cars are over 10 years old. Um, I, I have got to renew the license in uh, this, this year because we had a two-year renewal, so I can't remember from the dealer training course I had to take. When you, you have to take a dealer training course um and, and to get your license um so you would you have to go through that course and everything and when i was when i was taking the the training course or whatever like that it tells you that kind of stuff and, and i remember it from that but it's been two years so um so anywho um then this part right here this is where your uh your purchaser is going to sign okay and this is where your purchaser is going to print um and then you're going to sign here and you're going to print here um if you are doing a uh, poa so a uh, power of attorney form to make things, I, I, which I highly recommend you get your customers to sign that form because for example, like I just told you, you forget to do a zero, you forget to do an O, somebody forgets to do something. Um, when, when that happens, if you can fix the deal right there at the DMV and get the person their tags, like just like that. If you don't have the power of attorney form, you have to go back to the customer and get them to refill that part out or re-sign it. And it's a big pain in the buck. Uh, but fastcompliance.com didn't cover this. Thank you so much. Yeah, dude. Yeah, man. Um, anything. So, um, so yeah, you want to, that's, I think that's where I did not fast compliance. I think I did dealer training, whatever, whatever thing it was. Anywho, but, but make sure you do, um, make sure you, you get that power of attorney form signed. Um, there's two different power of attorney forms. There's a third party POA form, which is a rainbow form is what the DMV calls it. Um, and then you've got just your regular white, uh, I can't remember the number. I think it's 84259 is the form that you use for the power of attorney. And that's just so, um, if the customer, if you're trying to get the customer their ta titles or something like that, you're trying to get their stuff, you can actually do the, the POA on, on the back of the title form. You just sign, they've given you permission to sign the back of the title for them so you can get their paperwork processed or if they miss the signature somewhere or if there's a, uh, a typo somewhere, you're allowed to correct it and you're allowed to initial buy it for you and for them. So it makes the process so much easier and it's better for you and you can get the person their tags that day at the DMV as opposed to calling the customer. Because we used to do that all the time. It was awful before we found out about, before the DMV told us to use the POA form. Um, we used to call the customer and be like, Hey, can you meet back up with us? And then we have to get another appointment with the freaking DMV. Uh, cause we have to do appointments just like you guys do, which is, is awful. But, um, but we still have to do appointments and everything like everybody else does. Um, so we have to go down there and get with the DMV and do all that kind of stuff. And, and when you're selling 30 something cars a month, it's, it's a pain in the rumpus. Um, it's a lot of appointments and a lot of time at the DMV. Um, so you meet the ladies and they're really, really cool. Um, I say ladies only because those are the ones that actually work there in the area, the dealer area for us. Um, but, um, they're really, really awesome people though. And, and so anyways, uh, you can do what you would do there is you would do, um, you would sign your own signature, um, here. So you would, you would sign your little signature here and you would do POA on behalf of, and put the person's name or POA for that person's name up here. Right. And then at the same time, you're going to print your name on that line too, right under uh, the um, under the purchaser. You print your name, and then you put POA for that person's name, and then that allows you to do it. Now that's only if you have the right POA forms. It's only if they've signed the POA forms. You cannot do that otherwise. So you have to make sure they sign that form, or you just have to get them to sign the title. Um, it's much easier with the POA. 
um, and it, it, it ends up any hiccups. You can still get them to sign this, even if you have them sign the POA, uh, but that just means that when you're down at the DMV, and if there's an error or any kind of issue that you wrote something in the wrong spot and you've got to cross it out and re-initial it, you can initial on their behalf and it makes it easier for you, man. So, um, so Tim, um, I didn't mean, I, I, that's, that's a little lesson there for everybody too. Um, that, that's kind of how it works at the, with car dealers and the DMV and such. So if you guys um, ever have any questions about title, obviously, I mean, um, I know a little bit about paperwork. We do, we've done, you know, we did 400 cars this year, so we've, I've done a lot of paperwork. Oh my God, paperwork. That's why I like doing the live videos. They're way more fun than the paperwork. Um, but um, that said, guys, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna sign off because my wife is wanted me to run to Wendy's and get her a Frosty. I convinced her to get ice cream. And I told her this would be a quick live video, and I'm pretty sure that it's not quick live video. Um, we didn't. At least it wasn't as quick as this guy back here. <laughs> So, so anyways, man, uh, we're gonna, yeah, any, anytime, Tim. And like I said, man, um, you message, uh, the business page here, um, or my name's Jesse Chambers. You can message me on my uh, Facebook page or whatever like that. Just let me know who you are because I get a lot of people that message me and stuff like that on the, on, on personally, uh, trying to sell me stuff. Also people trying to just message me and I try to keep that more of like, uh, more private, but I'll, 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 I'll hook you up, man. If you're my, fr if, if you're, you know, have any questions, cause I know this stuff could be, it can be overwhelming at first, man. It can be, a, it's a lot of crap you're dealing with, but, um, with repetition going through it, you'll get used to it and you'll be able to rattle it off just the same way I did, dude. So, um, don't, don't worry about it. And, um, if you're going to the same, uh, auction we'll go to, man, come up to me and, uh, introduce yourself, dude. Um, so that, that would be, that would be really awesome. And, um, and I think that's about it for the night, guys. I'm gonna get some ice cream for the uh, for preggers over there on the couch, and uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna sit down and watch probably a movie because uh, I finally don't have to go to uh, work tomorrow. So um, I finally have a uh, a day off in the last I don't know, this be right around since before Thanksgiving. So I finally got a day off. Um, so I'm gonna spend it watching a movie with the wife, and then she's gonna put me to work tomorrow doing stuff around the house, and then I, I'm gonna take my kids to the playground, which maybe we'll swing in somewhere and do some tailing tomorrow so we'll see we'll see i'm not gonna uh i got uh, no guarantees i'm gonna try to do it though guys for you guys so um um be safe and <laughs> i had to get another b1 in there man my wife is looking at this look at her over on the couch she's, she's cracking up look at this oh my goodness she's so beautiful jesus god even pregos still still the same Anyways, uh, I am going to sign off, you guys. I am uh, I am going to have watch a movie and eat some ice cream with the wife. Uh, not blueberries tonight, probably. And um, I, you guys all have a wonderful night. Thank you guys for staying on. I appreciate everybody that was watching the video. Um, I really do. Uh, I got nobody really to talk to except for my wife. And she probably doesn't want to hear me anymore. Um, so anytime you guys want to jump on, pop on, ask me any kind of questions, just like Tim did right there, I will answer anything. Um, within reason i guess uh because we're on facebook live right so i mean i i'm people that know me you know i i am open i will say anything and tell you anything so if you want to ask a question be ready for the answer because it'll happen i will give you the real answer um and so anyways guys i uh, hope you all have a uh, a wonderful rest of your night congratulations to tim who got his dealer's license uh, congratulations to him hopefully if anybody watching that lives in fort pierce uh, Tim, you'd be more than happy, man, to put your uh, car dealership name in there and let everybody know um, where you're at. So if they uh, if they want to buy a car from you, dude, um, and I will see you at the auction, buddy. Then with that, I'm gonna sign off. Get you get get some ice cream. You guys all get uh, have a good night and uh, get yourself some uh, dessert um, and uh, be happy. <laughs> Just can't stop at the bees. Oh my goodness. Anywho, uh, well, once again, guys, uh, have a great night. And um, we're, we're Any Budget Cars. I'm Jesse. And um, hit that, smash that like, share, subscribe button. Get the little bell, um, you know, so you know when I'm on here, if you enjoy anything that I talk about. Or don't push the bell if you don't want to hear when I come on here rambling about some BS. Um, but uh, Fresh Auto Sales LLC in Fort Pierce. Tim Foote. Just uh, just opened up down there. So you guys, anybody in the uh, Fort Pierce area, Fresh Auto Sales. That's actually a pretty badass name, dude. Actually, I kind of like it. FAS too. You can do like a little. <laughs> we did anybody cars. We go ABC, um, and uh, now we got those bastards over there at the liquor store and all the daycares that also have the same initials as us. We weren't even thinking about it. And damn it. 
So, anyways, uh, we are adding a bunch of cars though, still, um, still, and uh, so you are Fresh Auto Sales LLC, Fort Pierce, um, and you guys all have a wonderful, wonderful night, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Boom.